everybody welcome back to my channel and i'm gonna make a really quick um recipe for for um you know it's very light there's no bake it's called the kool-aid pie you don't have to bake it just stir up the ingredients um put in the pie crust put in the fridge and you have a very delicious light pie kids love it adults love it as well so it's just a couple of ingredients get your cool whip you could get the original or the light cool whip if you're trying to you know just watch them calories <laughs> um the sweetened condensed milk you can also get this light uh, just to watch you know cut down them calories but i like to use the real stuff it's not like i eat it every day so if i'm gonna do it i might as well do it right right and the pie crust this is where we'll pour that and of course your kool-aid um you could get any flavor you want um this uh, this one right here let me see what my flavor is i think it's strawberry kiwi sorry yeah tore it off but it's strawberry kiwi so um you could get um lime some people like apple some people like cherry uh whatever flavor you want your pie to be or you can even mix it you know different flavors it's the same difference to me. Um, so the first thing we do is you get your bowl and stir in two. Or some people use the, you know, uh, what do you call it? To stir it, the electric whip, to whip it up. I really don't. I just use this. So the first thing is you open up your cool whip. Okay. And the cool whip up. See? Nice and fluffy. Pour that in your bowl. I usually use just one cool whip for one pie crust. Okay, pull that out. Can okay, I watch the spoon because I'm going to use the same spoon to get my cool whip. Um, the next thing you pour in there is your condensed milk, the sweetened. Just pour it. How's everybody doing out there? I hope you're safe. Lots of washing of your hands. Protect yourself, protect others. And this too shall pass. You just have to hang in there. Okay, make sure you pour all that in. Right? Put that away. Get your cool whip. So this is mine. One, two, see? That oh, smells good already. I like to clean as I go. Oh, wait a minute, I have some more. Don't waste anything. So now, it's time for us to stir. Stir it in. Make sure the Cool Whip and the condensed milk is incorporated well. Okay. You gotta put your back into it. <laughs> yeah, put some grease behind it. Stir it up real nice. I love the color, it's so pretty. Now, if this was lime, it would be really nice and pretty, you know, with the green, with the green color. But this is pretty, too. So, you stir. Keep stirring. You know, maybe for like a couple more minutes. What I do is I stir till I don't hear uh, the Cool Whip, you know, the bits of Cool Whip. So when I don't hear that as much, that tells me that it has already incorporated well into the whipped cream and into the cool whip and the condensed milk. So that's a good indication. Kids love this and this is such a good summer dessert, but you can pretty much have it, excuse me, you can pretty much have it any time of the year. And it's so easy to make. Very easy. You don't have to bake anything. Here, a little bit of the sugar, which is the cool whip, in there. I'm hearing it less and less, so that's good. How 
Almost there. Get a little hair in too. Like I said, you could use the electric um, whisker. That'll probably take you like two minutes. But this is also great, also. You don't need any extra equipment for this pie. Very easy. You can make it anytime with any utensil that you have. Okay? So, it's pretty quiet. I can't hear anything. So this is it. It's nice and creamy. Okay. Right. Now it's ready for us to pour in the pie. I mean, I mean the pie crust. So this is the pie crust. So just take it off. You can pretty much use any one you like. When I went to get this, I saw like um, a pie crust like gingerbread. It was a lot of them. I was like, oh my god. So many choices. So all you do is you open it up this way. Right. So just take up the, this part of it, not the whole thing. Leave this bottom part, okay? Because we're going to put this in the fridge for an hour. So you want it to still be in the container, okay? So what you do is, you now layer it here. I think I have enough for two pie crusts. That's fine. Or maybe not. <laughs> so what you do is you spread it out. Spread it out this way. It look nice and pretty. Um, you can also put like strawberry bits, you know, cut up strawberries on here, cut up um, kiwi or whatever else, berries, whatever else you like. You could do that, but I'm not doing none of that. I'm just gonna use just this plain. But like I said, you're welcome to put any thing you want. You don't want it to be too, too much, you know? Just enough. Right. So spread it nice and easy. Where did I get an accent from? Sorry. I've been cooked up in this house forever. <laughs> okay. So here we go. You have your Kool-Aid pie. Nice and simple. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to use the top. I'm going to cover it back up. I'm going to put this in the fridge for an hour so that it could, you know, solidify a little bit. Well, a bit. You know, we need to cut it. Just like that. The pie is ready. And you can make multiple pies. Uh, it doesn't have to be just one flavor. Maybe for Thanksgiving, Christmas, or just any special occasion you want multiple. You know, just get uh, the, the Cool Whip, the condensed milk, and then the Kool-Aid, different flavors, whatever flavor you like. And then you can make like three or four of them. So people will have the choice. It's pretty cheap, pretty quick, no bake, and it tastes fantastic. So I'm going to put this in the fridge for an hour, and I'll come back once it gets a little hard.